Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing my November wrap up and my December TBR. So November was a very good reading month and I read quite a few amazing books, so I'm very happy about that. The first book I read was Passenger by Alexandra Bracken and it was such an amazing book. It does not come out until January 5th, I believe, or 16th, one of those two. But guys, it's totally worth the wait. It has been since this book was announced like a year or two ago. Oh my gosh, it's such a fantastic book. It's a time travel novel about a girl discovering that she can time travel and it's just so, so amazing. Five out of five stars without a doubt. I think it's now one of my favorite books ever, which is pretty good in my book. So punny. The next book I read was Glass Sword by Victoria Aveyard, and oh, it was amazing. Usually second books in series can kind of be bleh, are not the best. This was definitely not the case. Oh my gosh, Glass Sword, fantastic, five out of five stars. It was oh, such a good book, and it had so many plot twists and moments where you just wanted to sit there and cry. It was fantastic. <laughs> The next book I read was Omega by Lizzie Ford. This book is a Greek mythology novel about a girl who finds out that she's the Oracle of Delphi and everybody wants her to be on their side. And it is such a good book as well. I give it a four out of five stars. It was very action packed, very thrilling, very mysterious. And there's an attractive guy in there as well. There are gargoyles as well, two in this book. And I love my gargoyles. I will be reviewing this book. So stay tuned for my review on this very, very soon. I think I may be filming it this weekend. In the last book I read this month, which I'm not completely done with. I still have 100 pages left, but I'm putting it in my November wrap-up since it's the book club book of the month for the Cruise Utopia book club. And that is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I do not have the cover on right now, but I have about 100 pages left. I've been reading it and listening to audiobook to get it finished by the live show this Friday. And guys, it is so, so good. So good. <sighs> so I'll probably be giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Now time for my holiday TBR list. Because as you can see, I've decorated for Christmas. Doesn't it look like Christmas threw up on the bookshelf? I know, it's beautiful. But since I'll be home a lot of this month, I decided why not read a bit more novels than I usually do every month because of school. And so I'm reading a couple larger books because I can. So the first one is going to be Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix by J.K. Rowling. Because I am on this book now in the series and I'm like, what better time to read Harry Potter than over Christmas? Because it's a very like Christmassy mood book. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Because I don't know, whenever people watch a movie, they're like, oh, it's such a movie that you would watch over Christmas, even though it's not a Christmas themed movie. I'm like, yeah, I get that. I get you. So yes, I'll be reading this over Christmas. The next book I'll be reading is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodden. This book takes place in an alternate history where instead of the Allied powers winning World War II, you know, the Nazis do. Not good. Not good at all. So I'm really curious about how this book's going to play out. And I'm really into historical fiction right now because I've read a ton of fantasy and I always love fantasy, but I just feel like I want to read some historical. So this will be some historical in my life. So I'll definitely be reading this this month. And going along with the theme of, you know, alternate history, I'm going to be reading as well The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick. This book is now an Amazon Prime original television series that I really want to watch. So I watched the first episode and then after finishing it, I'm like, you know, I should read the book. I should be a good little reader and read the book before watching the TV show. So I'm going to be doing that. And I'm excited to read this one as well because it's like Wolf by Wolf. Or Wolf by Wolf is technically like this book because this came before, but different premises and different like characters and stuff. So so why not? And this is not even that long of a book, so I'm really excited to read it. Okay, I'm coming to you from a different location, a different day, and a different outfit because I have, finally, the book we're going to be reading this month for the Peru's Utopia Book Club. We just decided it today, and I decided to throw it up. It throw it off. And I decided to throw it into my TBR video for December because I'm going to be reading this book in December with you guys. And that is Soundless by Rochelle Mead. I recently talked about this book in a subscription box unboxing and I was talking about how much I love the premise of it so I'll give you a brief overview about what it's all about. So this book is about a girl named Faye and she lives in a village where nobody can hear. And the village is surrounded by mountains and the only way they can get food and supplies is through a zip line from the neighboring kingdom. But all of a sudden the zip line supplies start to shrink and this creates lots of hunger and it doesn't help that all of a sudden people are also going blind in her village and then one morning all of a sudden she wakes up and she can hear and sound becomes her weapon and she teams up with this miner and they're going to go on a quest to the top of the mountain to see what's going on what's this all about and they find a startling and shocking truth so I'm super excited to be reading this book for the book club this month please join us I'll be linking the book club down below it's on Goodreads and we'll be talking all about it this month 
for our Rochelle Mead month. So I hope you guys join us because it has started. And lastly, I'll be reading Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. I've been wanting to read this book for quite a while now and the fourth book in the series is coming out, third or fourth, called Frozen Tides. And so I really want to read this series and maybe I'll get through it all in the next few months. I just really love fantasy and I hear that this is a great, great fantasy novel. So we'll be reading this as well. Also, stay tuned for a video that I'm going to be doing that is going to be all about what bookish gifts to give to your loved ones this Christmas. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you next time. Bye!